Hello everyone, we are here today on the Disney Magic to do a full room tour of a Category 4B Deluxe Family Ocean View State Room with Veranda. This room does sleep up to five adults and has an okay amount of space for everyone. Now here on the Disney Magic, all of these Category 4B rooms are on deck number eight, which is the same deck as the concierge state rooms. This is one deck below the top deck, deck number nine, so it's super convenient to get mm -hmm. to all the food and the pools and all the other fun stuff that's going on. Let's go check it out. So when we first come into the room here, over on my right, we have our closet. Inside here, you'll find a safe as well as a bag for sending out your laundry if you'd like to do that. They have a ladder here for the pull-down upper berth in the room that your stateroom host can assist you with if you need that. They have a closet rod with some hangers as well as your life jackets. And then the other half of the closet just has more of the same. They have the closet rod with clothes hangers. They also have some more life jackets and then just some storage space below where you can store your luggage if you need to. Over beside the closet, we have some drawers for storage. We also have a small little bench right there next to the drawers. And then our countertop here that has some glasses for water. And you also have a really pretty picture of Walt and Lillian on a cruise ship back in 1934. One of my personal favorite pictures of them because they loved cruising and so do I. In the room here, we have a split bathroom layout. You have two different halves of the bathroom. The first half when you come in is where you'll find your toilet and a sink. There's a single vanity in here with a decent amount of counter space. There's also some storage down below the sink as well. There's a shelf right there below the mirror for storage, as well as some shelves built into the walls. Your toilet is in here and they even stamp the toilet paper with the Disney Cruise Line logo because it's super fancy here. We've got a hairdryer here on the wall by the door and we also have another one in the room over in the desk and I'll show you that in just a minute. The other half of the bathroom here is where you'll find your tub and shower. A little bit of a different tub here because it is a family stateroom. You can see you've got a little bit of a wider tub here at the end. You also have a detachable shower head here in the shower and refillable shampoo, conditioner and body wash. The shower curtain actually has some little Mickeys in it if you look at it just in the right light. We have a single vanity in here, not as much counter space as the other bathroom, but you do have that shelf right there above the mirror where they have some lotion as well as some washcloths. There's a plug as well as some washcloths. There's also an outlet there in the mirror and there's some storage down below the sink as well. Heading into the room, you can see we have a queen size bed here in the room that is raised up with storage underneath for your luggage. There's a full length mirror over here on the left. And then on the side of the bed, we have a little nightstand with a drawer. That nightstand has a couple wall outlets there on it. And then you also have a lamp. The lamp has little Mickey heads cut out of it and has representations of the Disney parks and the Disney cruise ships around the world. And then on the other side of the bed, we have the exact same lamp and a little nightstand, but this one has the phone, so you only have one outlet there instead of two. There's a curtain here that divides the room in half if you wanna split it up, and you also can darken the room quite a bit with those curtains. Over on the other half of the room, we have three different beds. One is the couch here that pulls down into a twin size bed. The second is the pull down upper berth I mentioned earlier with that ladder. And the third is the Murphy bed over here. And your stateroom host will take care of getting any and all of those beds that you need ready each evening and then putting them back away for you so you have more room to move around here in the cabin. Up on the wall, we have some music from Peter Pan, the second star to the right. I've noticed they have different songs in different staterooms, so it's kind of fun to see which one we got. Over on the other side of the room, we have lots of storage space, lots and lots of drawers and cabinets. Our TV here is on a swivel arm, so it does swing out and face the bed if we'd like it to. The cabinet below the TV is where you'll find your mini fridge. Now there is no freezer section in this mini fridge, but you do have the fridge there. The drawers here right beside the fridge is where you'll find your hair dryer. I mentioned there was a second hair dryer in here. This one's a traditional hair dryer. It has a plug right here on the wall if you want to plug that in, in addition to the regular wall outlets there. And they also have some USB outlets built into the wall. The lights on each side of the mirror have some little Mickey heads cut out of them. It's a great little touch there. And then the drawer right below the mirror above the stool is where you're gonna find your little door hanger to order breakfast in the morning. If you wanna hang that out before you go to bed each night, you'll be able to have breakfast brought to your room without having to get up and call it in. You have some drawers over here as well as a couple cabinets with shelves down below for storage. And then a picture up here on the wall 
from Disneyland Paris of the Pirates of the Caribbean map. So that's a nice little piece of Disney history there. And then the veranda that we mentioned, this room has a veranda. So let's walk out there and check it out. You have a table out here as well as two chairs, a decent size veranda, and you've got the clear plexiglass in between the railings. So you can see out when you're sitting out here on the veranda. Now this particular one, you can see on each side of us, there is no dividing wall that can be moved. So if you have family or friends in the stateroom next to you, there's no way to open up the veranda and connect them like there is in some of the staterooms that we've seen. And that is going to conclude our tour here of this Category 4B Deluxe Family Ocean View Stateroom with Veranda. We hope you enjoyed that room tour. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up below and comment with any questions you have. We're happy to answer those. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for even more tours of the Disney cruise ships and Disney resorts around the world. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, we're here with the ears.